So, my name is Patrick Sullivan. I'm the Executive Director of Los Alamos Commerce and Development Corporation. And I want to welcome everyone to the, the grand opening and ribbon cutting of Project Y Cowork Los Alamos. Um, this has been a, a, uh, a brainstorm uh, for several months that uh, many different organizations have worked on. Um, we kind of made the decision to go ahead and, and start, start the space and open up, and that's been about five or six months, so it's been a very um, quick process. Um, but anyway, I'd, I'd like to welcome everyone here. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Nancy Partridge, the director of our Chamber of Commerce, um, for hosting the ribbon cutting today. Um, I'm going to say, have a, a couple people say a few quick words, um, then let everyone um, just kind of enjoy the space. We're happy to answer questions about it. Um, Project Y is a, a fairly unique collaboration um, between many different organizations here in the community. Um, it's, it's a collaboration and a partnership that uh, um, I've not seen in the, the 13 or 14 years that I've been here that's uh, kind of as formal and as uh, aligned as, as what we have here. So it's a partnership between LACDC, um, the Los Alamos National Laboratory through the Feynman Center for Innovation and the, I'm going to mess up the name, the Community um, Partnerships Office, which is now the Community Relations, Relations and Partnerships Office, um, Kathy Heath's uh, organization, and then Central Park Square um, in Phil Coonsburg and Los Alamos County. Um, so it's a bringing together of, of several different entities that are um, working to, to help spur entrepreneurship and creativity in Los Alamos. And, um, and uh, as, uh, as we happened across the street with a, a community gathering spot with the brew tub. Uh, we hope this will be a community gathering spot for entrepreneurs and, and innovation. Um, I'd like to take just a, a couple seconds and recognize some, some people we have in the audience. Um, first, Katie Richardson from Senator Heinrich's office is here. Thank you. I don't see here, we had uh, gotten word that Michelle Jaquez Ortiz from uh, Senator Udall's office was going to be here, but I'm not sure if she is. Um, same with uh, Julio Salazar from Representative Lujan's office. Right. Oh, right there. Um, so thank you for coming. Um, we also have a, uh, let's see, I believe two county counselors here. So uh, Councilor Susan O'Leary, who you'll hear from um, in just a few minutes, who is our the vice, current vice chair of our, our county council. Um, and Kristen Henderson, who is also a current council member. And then I'd like to, uh, let's see, recognize Dave Pasiri, who is uh, the head of the Feynman Center for Innovation at LANL. He's here to, uh, that organization, as I said, is one of the partners that's been very supportive. Um, and Lori Upham, who is the, where is Lori? There's Lori, who uh, is the executive director of ABQID, which is a, a co-working space down in, in Albuquerque. Um, Lori has been involved with Micheline and myself um, since the very beginning. And, in uh, helping us think through the process, talk over some things, um, understand what's worked, what hasn't worked, and it has helped guide us. We're very appreciative, Lori. Thank you. So I'd like to um, turn it over now to Lauren McDaniel. Lauren is our director of Project Y. She's going to tell you a little bit about the space, um, and we'll hear from a, a couple more people, and then we'll be here just to uh, have something to eat and enjoy the space. Lauren. Everyone. Uh, thank you for coming again. Uh, my name is Laura McDaniel. I'm the director of Project Y. I'm very excited to start this space. I think it's going to be great for Los Alamos and the community. Uh, just to give you some background, Project Y was actually inspired uh, as the alternative code name to the Manhattan Project. And so that's where our name came from. Uh, in general, we really hope to cater to entrepreneurs, uh, specifically uh, in science and technology, but also uh, across a range of disciplines, uh, freelancers, other businesses, startups, people that are working from home or a coffee shop that want a more social, collaborative environment. Uh, so we really want to be a hub for the community uh, as a center for innovation, a center for collaboration and entrepreneurship. Uh, in general, we also, um, you know, want to uh, encourage networking, and we're bringing in different events to the community uh, here in this space. Our first event is actually happening tomorrow. We're kicking things off right away, and it will be hosted by Grace Brill. She is a principal for Market Intelligence uh, Solutions, 
and she is going to be focusing on uh, the topic of market opportunities for startups. So um, we look forward to seeing Grace. That is uh, happening tomorrow, uh, Thursday, June 9th, uh, from 4 to 5.30 p.m. And it's free, open to the public. We encourage every to, everybody to come out for that. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background about the space, uh, we have a, an open collaborative environment here um, that's open seating. We also have a conference room, a private conference room that will be available to members, but it will also be available for outside uh, community organizations to also rent uh, at a very affordable price of uh, $15 per hour. So we look forward to bringing people in for that. And, um, you know, lastly, again, I just look forward to uh, creating a really um, collaborative environment uh, that enables networking, provides entrepreneurs and businesses with the resources that they need uh, in the community uh, right here at Project Y. So thank you again for coming, um, and I look forward to meeting several of you later and answering any questions that you might have. So now I'd like to introduce Duncan McBranch. He is the Chief Technology Officer at Los Alamos National Lab to say a few words on the lab's behalf. So thank you, Patrick. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, so I'm delighted to be here on behalf of, of the laboratory, which is often that place across the bridge. Um, it's hard to get to if you don't have a badge. Um, so we're delighted to have a place here in town for uh, uh, people to interact. Uh, we're going to try to direct some of the things that we already do in entrepreneurial activities and postdoc and student activities to uh, create kind of a hub here. Um, and you know, we've already got uh, some other places where people gather. Uh, we typically run into people at coffee shops or at the, at the beer co-op or uh, at the YMCA. Um, and so um, having a central place where people can just um, have a place to follow up on those accidental uh, interactions and make them more deliberate. Um, I think we're also trying through the Feynman Center to uh, be more intentional about creating entrepreneurial activities out of our um, technical staff. So this ties into strategies. It's uh, really a remarkable effort across uh, the community with LACDC and, Pat and uh, uh, Phil Kunzberg and, uh, uh, and the uh, folks that, from the laboratory that have contributed to this. I'd also like to acknowledge Harry Burgess and, and the, uh, uh, in the, in the Los Alamos County and being open-minded in terms of how do we um, lean forward as a community together in uh, getting our uh, many talented people to interact more easily. I, see, I think we're following Albuquerque a little bit in this. And now, uh, Lori, I've been delighted to observe um, what a groundswell of, that there's been in Albuquerque around these kinds of activity because of uh, ID and other things. And then I think there's another trend that we're seeing start to emerge both at the laboratory and outside is um, different types of funding are becoming available um, in the current economic climate that are venture based. They're more, they're less traditional venture focused. Uh, we have some of those folks interacting with the lab. Um, uh, as Lauren knows well, we're, we're starting to see um, postdocs spin out of the laboratory with uh, Hunter and, and uh, uh, Ubiquity. Um, We've got Descartes Labs um, now just across the street. And so we're starting to see more of a groundswell here in Los Alamos that I think is mirroring what, what's been happening for a year and a half in Albuquerque. Anyway, so thanks for being here. Uh, please find ways to use the space. We're all looking for how to define the best use cases to make sure this is a successful experiment. So thanks. Now I'd like to invite uh, Susan O'Leary, who is the Vice Chair of Los Alamos County Council. Thanks, Patrick. So I'm filling in for uh, Council Chair Rick Reese. He wanted to be here today. He's on vacation, and so uh, he wanted me to send his regards to you all. Um, Julie Habiger wrote a great speech that you guys already talked about, so I'm not going to go over it again, um, other than to say that Los Alamos County is very excited that this event this um, operation has been created. The um, supporting new business development is a big part of the council's strategic goals. We are um, very dedicated to seeing a diverse business community in Los Alamos County. And we very much appreciate the support of the LACDC and the Feynman Center and uh, 
Mr. Kuhn's work in um, getting this going. We know that starting new businesses is difficult. <laughs> it requires a lot of um, support, not only uh, operationally and financially, but emotionally also. And we think that this kind of environment is going to be um, a really productive way for our entrepreneurs in Los Alamos County to um, to be successful. And, and we want you to be very successful. So the county is and the council are delighted to support this effort. And we thank everyone who's been involved in making it a reality. Okay, um, I want to wrap up here, but I just wanted to take a, a couple minutes to, to thank a few people who've been integral in, in getting the space going. Uh, first, Micheline Devours from the Feynman Center for Innovation. Uh, as I mentioned before, after her work with helping to get the, the brewery co-op going, and, and now this space um, seems to have found a niche in, in community placemaking here in our, our town. Um, so Micheline has been integral um, in, in helping to get this space going. Um, second to, to Lauren McDaniel, who's our director here, who took the, uh, the ideas that Micheline and I had in, in about 30 days, actually turned it into a functioning space. Um, so we could not have done that without, without your help. And then Suzette Fox and, and Rose Evans from LACDC staff, um, who uh, moonlighted as our interior designers, furniture builders, um, um, everything else you see in the space here. Um, so Rose actually built a lot of the furniture that's in here. Uh, she and Suzette uh, did a lot of design work on the space. Um, if it had been left up to me, we'd probably have card tables um, and nothing that looks near as good as, as it does here. Um, also, like the, to thank Phil Kunzberg, the owner of Central Park Square, for um, being very uh, very easy to work with and contributing um, you know, some of his resources to make this happen. And so we're very appreciative of that. And then as, as Duncan uh, mentioned, Harry Burgess, the county manager, for kind of championing um, the partnership on the county's end um, and, and helping us out there. Um, so thank you, Harry. So we have some light refreshments and coffee. Please help yourself. Um, we're going to have another event this evening at 530 in conjunction with the Los Alamos Entrepreneurs Network, their monthly meeting. Um, so come by at 5.30, we'll have some food and some drinks here, and it's a very informal, just social networking type event. Um, so we're here to answer any questions you have. There's a sign-up sheet on the desk in the back. If you have not signed up already but would like to get on an email list um, for events, I'd encourage you to visit our, our website, projectylosalamos.com. Um, we also have information on um, pricing schedules, the different types of memberships you have, or that we offer here. Um, and corporate sponsorship packages, if anyone is interested in that. Um, so now I'd like to have um, Nancy come up and help us with our ribbon cutting. Okay.